Imagine for a moment, the Earth, our home, changing in ways that are irreversible. Is this a natural evolution? Or are we as humans the architects of our own environmental demise? This is the great climate change debate, a polarizing topic that has ignited passionate discussions worldwide. On one side of the debate, we find those who believe that human activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation, are dramatically altering our planet's climate. They point to the rise in global temperatures, the melting of polar ice caps, and the increasing frequency of extreme weather events as clear evidence of human-induced climate change. They argue that we have a moral obligation to reduce our carbon emissions, to mitigate the damage and safeguard the future for subsequent generations. Conversely, on the other side of the fence are those who view climate change as a natural occurrence, independent of human influence. They claim that the Earth's climate has always been in flux, with periods of warming and cooling over the eons. They question the validity of the data supporting human-induced climate change and suggest that the issue has been politicized, used as a tool for control and financial gain. There's also the argument about the fairness of it all. The question arises, are the big industries, the main contributors to carbon emissions, paying their fair share? Or is the burden unfairly placed on the shoulders of individuals and smaller businesses? In the midst of this debate, we can't ignore the reality of the hurricanes, tsunamis and floods that are devastating communities worldwide. Whether these are a result of human-induced climate change or natural cycles, they are indeed happening. So the question remains, should we stay actionless or should we take steps to mitigate the impact of these events? In summary, the climate change debate revolves around two central questions. Is climate change a result of human activities and if so, what should we do about it? The evidence supporting human-induced climate change is compelling, but so is the argument that the Earth's climate naturally fluctuates. Moreover, there is a clear call for fairness and transparency in the allocation of carbon emission costs. Regardless of the causes, the impact of extreme weather events is undeniable, demanding a proactive approach for mitigation. In the end, the climate change debate is not just about science or politics. It's about our future. It's about making informed decisions that will shape the world our children and their children will inherit. And so we continue to question, to debate, and to seek the truth in the hope of making the best decisions for our planet.